In contrast to the cold, harsh blackness of outer space, our world is warm, nurturing, thriving with life, unique as far as we know. Earth, our home, is a vibrant and colorful place. Earth is a dynamic, complex system made up of many interacting parts, far more complicated than any system humans have made. If we imagine Earth as a vast machine, then sunlight is its fuel. The sun's rays power weather and climate and provide the energy plants and animals need to survive. Any change in our planet's exposure to sunlight changes how the system operates. And Earth's exposure to sunlight is by no means constant. Over cycles of thousands of years, the shape of Earth's orbit and tilt toward the sun have changed resulting in changes to the Earth system. Ice sheets have advanced and retreated over the millennia as the Earth warmed and cooled. Today, Earth observing satellite data, surface measurements, and climate models provide compelling evidence that climate is changing at a rate that is unprecedented over the past 10,000 years, and that this is very likely due to human activity. Since 1880, human population doubled and then doubled again. In that same span, three of the main gases that we know human activities emit in large quantities, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, all rose in proportion to population. Forced in part by these greenhouse gases, Earth's average temperature rose by nearly one degree centigrade. While no one knows exactly what the consequences of this rise in temperature will be, we already know that the warming is contributing to global sea level rise. As water warms, it expands and takes up more volume than cooler water. In addition, as temperatures rise, more land-based ice melts adding even more water to the oceans. Over the past decade and a half, NASA satellite measurements have confirmed a nearly three and a half centimeter rise in average sea level. If sea level continues to rise, the future impact on society could be quite dramatic. Notice what the coastal southeastern U.S. would look like with only five meters of sea level rise, which is possible within a couple hundred years. Keep in mind that if all the ice on Earth's land surface were to melt, there would be enough water added to the oceans to cause over 70 meters of additional sea level rise. This is just one example of how human activities are changing our home planet. Humans cause additional alterations through such activities as deforestation and pollution. The Earth system is interconnected. Whenever we alter the landscape or the composition of the atmosphere in a certain area, it has the potential to change the entire Earth system. Scientists now know the major factors that cause Earth to change, but they only partially understand how these climate mechanisms work. Scientists cannot confidently predict what they don't understand and so society is uncertain which climate scenarios to prepare for. A lot is at stake. As past evidence has shown, climate change can bring drought to some regions and deluge to others. Drought can lead to loss of crops, wildfires, loss of life, even the collapse of entire civilizations. Climate change can bring severe weather, leading to landslides, floods, and devastation. In the U.S. alone, weather and climate-related events 
cause up to $4 billion in damages every year. For 50 years, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, has been on a mission to understand our world's environment and climate system. In fact, pioneering the unique vantage point of space for studies of Earth was one of the main reasons NASA was created. In about 50 years, our view of the planet has evolved from this to this. Today, NASA satellites monitor dozens of Earth's vital signs every day and on a global scale, including temperature, rainfall, plant life, fires, ice, and many more. Using data from NASA's satellites, the most accurate global maps of sea surface temperature ever are produced. And from an unprecedented ability to literally look inside storm clouds and measure their internal structures, weather forecasters today have a greatly improved ability to predict weather, even up to a week in advance. Of course, weather science is more than flying sensors in space. As it is done from the beginning, NASA pioneers development of tools scientists need to analyze, model, and predict changes in weather and climate. NASA began its exploration of space in 1958 with the launch of a Geiger counter designed to detect charged particles just above Earth's atmosphere. The device worked perfectly leading to the discovery that layers of charged protons surround our world. Called Van Allen belts, these layers of particles are hazardous to astronauts and satellite instruments. But down here at the surface, we are shielded from them by the Earth's magnetic field. In 1960, NASA launched the first weather satellite. It carried a special camera to observe the visible and infrared light reflected from Earth. Almost overnight, the satellite's view gave meteorologists a much improved ability to observe movements of clouds and frontal systems, and to more accurately predict weather. Modern weather satellites are highly evolved versions of the prototypes invented by NASA. In the mid-1970s, scientists warned that humans were dramatically increasing the amount of certain gases in the atmosphere. They warned that some of the gases could destroy the protective layer of ozone that shields Earth from harmful UV radiation. Congress asked NASA to investigate these theories. NASA responded with the launch of a sophisticated mission that included an instrument capable of monitoring the protective ozone layer every day on a global scale, and confirmed that what the scientists suspected was true. Certain human-made chemicals carried high into the stratosphere thinned Earth's ozone shield. But there was also a surprise. The discovery that the unique meteorology of the Antarctic contributes to dramatic ozone loss each year in that region. The so-called ozone hole. This mission marked the beginning of a new era of satellite instruments designed to study atmospheric chemistry and was complemented by measurements from NASA's high-flying ER-2 aircraft. Scientists established that human-produced chemicals containing chlorine were a major factor in causing the ozone hole. These dramatic new findings helped the international community to agree to enact the Montreal Protocol, which restricted and eventually phased out the use of ozone-destroying chemicals. These experiences taught us some important lessons. One, NASA's global perspective greatly improves scientists' ability to monitor and understand Earth's changing environment. Two, humans can have a global-scale influence sometimes with harmful consequences. Three, 
scientists need more than computer models. They need real-world global observations to understand the Earth system. In 1978, NASA also began examining the Earth's energy budget. That is, all the sunlight entering Earth's environment minus all the sunlight reflected and the heat radiation emitted to space. From one year to the next, Earth's energy budget is approximately in balance. Unless, of course, that balance is disrupted. Could humans tip the scale on Earth's energy balance? And if so, how would the climate and environment change? And how would climate change affect life on Earth? Answering these questions requires more observations and research to reach better understanding of the Earth system. In 1990, the President and Congress once again asked NASA to investigate. And again, NASA responded, this time by building and launching its multi-satellite Earth observing system. As of 2008, NASA operates 15 satellites that together compose the world's most advanced and comprehensive capability for Earth monitoring. Though the mission is still underway, NASA's satellites already tell a fascinating story of climatic and environmental changes happening at a rate unparalleled in human experience. As a follow-on to earlier efforts, instruments continue to monitor the Earth's energy budget, the balance between absorbed solar energy and emitted heat radiation. These measurements allow scientists to determine when Earth's energy balance tips towards warming or cooling, and to investigate why. NASA satellites are also busy monitoring a large variety of phenomena within the Earth system. They measure the extent and types of clouds worldwide. They measure how clouds interact with sunlight, so scientists can estimate how Earth's energy balance will swing as cloud cover changes. NASA satellites also monitor ice sheets and sea ice. As ice cover shrinks, more sunlight is absorbed at the ocean surface, and Earth tips further in the warming direction. Arctic sea ice has been shrinking since 1979, and the shrinking has been speeding up. From 2005 to 2007 alone, the Arctic lost an expanse of ice greater than the size of the state of California. If that trend continues, scientists predict we could see an Arctic Ocean with almost no ice at the end of the summer as early as 2013. NASA satellites are also able to detect the spread of damaging forest fires. The U.S. Forest Service uses satellite images and maps of active fires for planning preventive efforts and strategies to protect vegetation and homes and to ensure water quality. Archives of these data are used in rehabilitation efforts and future firefighting efforts. NASA satellites monitor the biosphere, the extent and abundance of photosynthesizing life. Such maps illustrate how plants respond to changing seasons. Scientists find consistency between satellite measurements of seasonal plant productivity and carbon dioxide level. Notice how the level of CO2 in the atmosphere hits a low point at the end of the northern hemisphere growing season and rises again in the winter after the trees in North America, Europe, and Asia have lost their leaves. Scientists can literally watch Earth's biosphere breathing. This and other NASA satellites' global perspective is invaluable since it would take a research ship over 10 years to make the same measurements of the ocean that the SeaWIFS instrument can take from space in one minute. In a typical year, NASA satellites distribute over 1,500 terabytes of Earth science data, enough to fill a stack of CDs as tall as the Empire State Building. NASA employs hundreds of Earth scientists and funding for thousands more in the United States and around the world, working to convert all those numbers into knowledge.
Our home planet is fascinating, complex, and dynamic. Inevitably, large-scale changes in Earth's environment will benefit some and adversely impact others. Although many of the changes happening on Earth are troubling, the good news is that NASA's perspective of Earth gives scientists an unprecedented ability to determine where and why change is happening and examine the causes and the impacts. It isn't just the Earth science community that benefits from this information. NASA shares the new knowledge it generates for the benefit of society as a whole. The information flowing from NASA's Earth observing satellites helps society plan its response to these changes so that adverse impacts of climate change can be mitigated whenever possible. The observations and science results that NASA produces today have also shaped the plans for future missions that will feature advanced space-based capabilities for observing and understanding the Earth. In addition to collecting and archiving data consistent with past missions, these future observations will provide new information about ocean salinity, global rainfall, clouds and aerosols, soil moisture, ice, carbon, and other climate system components. This will yield more detailed knowledge that will help society understand and adapt to the world's changing climate, as well as meeting the information needs of our nation's decision makers. NASA's fleet of Earth observing satellites gives us the means to detect, understand, predict, and respond to global environmental change. It allows us to study planet Earth from space. And in so doing, NASA remains true to the pioneering spirit that began its exploration of space 50 years ago.